Now, the nice thing too is, it turns out that the cerebellum and the inner ear, as I said before, modulate or handle anxiety signals, just as they handle concentration signals. They handle visual perception, auditory perception signals. Now, most people don't recognize, for example, that dyslexia is not just a severe reading disorder where you only have reading problems. There are 15 major areas of functioning impaired in dyslexia. And as I said, over 90% of patients with ADHD have dyslexia. So let me go into the dyslexic symptoms that invariably occur in individuals that have ADHD. Their reading is impaired. Writing, spelling, math, memory, speech, sense of direction and time, balance and coordination. They have psychosomatic symptoms like headaches, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, uh, unexplained before, stomach aches, uh, even tinnitus or ringing in the ears, excessive sweating, temperature changes and variability. Reflexes are impaired. The most important symptom, however, that goes very often unnoticed in the haste to improve academics is self-esteem. The self-esteem is dramatically impaired most of the time in individuals with dyslexia and ADHD, which is why I labeled one of my books, Smart But Feeling Dumb, to highlight this. The most important insight is if you treat the inner ear problem and you improve the symptoms, the self-esteem dramatically improves, even in adults that have had poor self-esteem for years and years.